Okay, hey guys, um, this is your weekend reading. I know I didn't do a reading for the week, but that's because I needed some time to do some dark work on myself <coughs> and um, get some things together. Uh, you know, during this time, it's the time of, um, it's the clo I should say, the closer we get to, actually it's more than, how do I put it without making it too long? Uh, this whole year, basically has been a cleanup year. If you've been paying attention, last year was uh, more of a study year, more of a gathering year of studying everything that you could, grabbing everything you could. And this year is more of a uh, more of a cleanup year, clean up your life, make your final decisions. What is it that you truly believe? Who do you truly want to be around you? Is this the job you truly want to be in? Is this the way you truly want to raise your kids? Is this the man or woman that you truly want to be with? Um, it's been a big cleanup year. All these other items in your house, do you really need them? Why is it still laying around if you don't need them? Does it really bring you joy? Does it remind you of pain? It's been a big cleanup year. So with that, I am not excluded. <laughs> so, you know, it's been a big, especially in mindsets, it's been a big cleanup year in mindsets, which to me means whenever there's a big cleanup, there's also about the, um, you always clean up to bring more things in. You have to clear out to bring something in. So whenever there's a big cleanup, then there's also a big manifestation. So that to me proves that going into um, spring of 2014, uh, it's going to be a big, big cleanup year. So, with that being said, uh, a lot of readings, if you notice, has been about um, deciding what you really want and clean up your mindset of this, this, and that. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because um, we're going into another Mercury retrograde. Um, as Glammy, Glammy has said in one of her videos, we're going to another Mercury retrograde. What most people don't pay attention is that Mercury retrograde happens three times a year. So we had it twice, and this is our third time for this year. But this year is a little bit different, which is the reason why I brought up how most of the readings and mostly every people's life have been going this year. This time is a little bit different, not because it's close to Samhain, because the last one was always close to Samhain. That's how nature is set up. Because Samhain um, is the Celtic New Year, but in more of... Um, in more of uh, other understandings, like in the comedic tradition and a couple other traditions, is not necessarily their or our New Year, um, but it is a time where the veil between the worlds is the thinnest, so that you can connect to you connect to spirits. But the way spirits talk to you is different. So, if your mind hasn't been brought up by new mindsets and you haven't had certain concepts understood yet then you cannot get the understanding that spirit wants you to have you'll it'll always be filtered through your logic so with it being filtered through your logic you may miss exactly what they're saying and this year it seems like it's been a big cleanup because the spiritual room your ancestors your spirit guides and all that are trying to get through to us and they're trying to help us manifest life the way that we are without society's barriers without other people's influences on our thought patterns. So it's been a big, it's been a big cleanup year. Um, to further prove the point, which I'll probably go deeper into in another video, um, if you notice in TV shows, they're bringing out more witch shows now. And one of the things that has never been done before, they're bringing out a lot of shows bashing um, the major religions. They're starting with Christianity, but it's not going to stop there. A lot of shows are starting now to bash and make jokes, make fun of, make them sound like the crazy person. Where back when it was the witch who was bashed and all all that crazy all that other stuff, and that's because we're now in the Aquarian age where it's of knowledge. You know the Piscean age, the age of the three Abrahamic faiths was all about belief, but we're no longer in belief phase. We're in knowledge phase, something intangible. Meaning, if you have a spiritual idea or concept, if it's not tangible or able to be applied, then there's no point of having it. If it doesn't work here in this life as well as the life beyond has to work in both because we live in duality then it's no longer going to be accepted and it's a big it's a big change so with that being said um, with Sama, with this Sama coming up and with the Mercury retrograde it's really one of the um, you know and she brought up the red days which which I did say the red days is really nothing more but the most powerful days of Mercury retrograde and in actuality um, like Glamour said in her video excuse me Mercury retrograde already started. It started October 1st, but um, the days that they always tell you about, like the, the days that um, I had stated in the comments from the uh, 21st to the, shoot, I forgot, October 21st, I think, to the November 19th or November 9th, I forgot the actual uh, 
last day of it. Those are the days that they normally make known because those are called the red days and those are days where it's going to affect you the most. And you know, Mercury affects communication. And then what this is really doing is giving us the last time, the, giving us one more final chance to slow down everything and totally look and see um, <coughs> and clean out anything that's left. Um, in your brains that you should no longer hold on to or something that's subconscious that's still subconscious in you, in you that you need to get rid of or some indecisiveness. In my case, it was more so more indecisiveness um, that that's still there in the subconscious brain where it, it plays both sides and in a way that is good but in a way it can be dangerous if you don't recognize it's there. Whole nother story. So... With that being said, Mercury retrograde is not, has not, and will never be something to be afraid of. It's, some, it's a time that makes you, forces you to step back and look at your decisions. It forces you um, to show, it forces the physical to show you things that you are doing that does not serve your greater goal or your greater purpose or your desires in life. So, I just want to put that out there. So with that, we're going to get into our weekend reading, which... Um, from the two cards that I have pulled as um, indicator cards so far I'm loving it uh, this card is for Doreen's Virtue deck the Life Purpose deck I normally use this card for my personal deck um, whether indicator for a week or indicator for um, the day but I wanted to do it for this weekend and this card says animals and in all honesty this may <laughs> because I normally use it just for me for private for me this may just mean for me to may still just be for me I don't know but this card says animals. Now, regardless of what it says, it says connect the animals, blah, blah, blah. No. Um, for me, this card means uh, pay attention because, you know, it's pay attention to your dreams. A lot of times, pay attention to animals around you, period. If it's an animal that keeps showing up on a consistent basis, like for me, it's been spiders. Spiders has been showing up in my dreams everywhere I turn. I'm noticing them. Spiders, spiders, spiders. And then before spiders, it was dragonflies. And that means they represent something. That means something's going on. It's representing something. It may not be bad or good. Um, it just means that it's something to pay attention to. So you need to look up that um, what the, what spiders means. Uh, well, what that animal for me, like I said, was spiders and dragonflies. But you need to look up what it means. Um, the other thing I will say with that is pay attention to your dreams. A lot of times, you know, at the closer we get to sound, the more so your dreams might start being more symbolic than actual straightforward. So pay attention to the animals that show up in your dreams. Pay attention to the animals that show up around you. Pay attention to the animalistic natures that show up around you or other people. All this may be telling you something. It may not be the actual animal, but you may see um, like a tiger, like a stuffed tiger, a stuffed tiger animal. You walk past one store, two stores, three stores, five stores, and somehow your eye keep being drawn to the stuffed tiger animal. Well, then pay attention and go look it up and see what it means. So that's that. The other indicator card I have is the three of cups now as I've been saying I've been totally ignoring whatever they're supposed to mean and been going by just the symbolism on the cards which has been true hey it's the oh this camera's weird I hate that the camera moves with you you see that douche douche but anyway <laughs> the symbolism in the card let me see if I can turn it so I can see it with you guys okay first of all it's the number three and as I stated before, three is the number of spirituality. It is the, it's the Holy Trinity. So that's also reinforced by the fact that here you have three, and you have all paths represented. The left, wait, what am I on? The right, <laughs> the middle, the left. But all of them are female. And you know, female is also the divine representation of spirituality. You have the three cups, and the cups are green. Green is the heart chakra, so a heart chakra is being opened, and you have it being poured in all directions you have your spirituality you have the um you have your logic and you have the middle path which the balance of the two and all of them are overflowing and they're overflowing down to the earth you also have these bushes which mind you the bushes are black which is also a symbol of the divine feminine the night the time where you have to can't see with your eyes but you have to see with your um your, your third eye you have to see with your spirituality you have to be able to see the unseen and not not with your physical view um, you also have more green leaves at the bottom here, and you also have brown, which means, and they all have one foot down, if you notice, which means they're grounded. They, if I'm not, wait, which foot is that? They all have their right foot down. Is that the right foot? What am I looking at? Is that left or right? 
do, do, do. I'm going to say, yeah, they all have their right for them. <laughs> um, it took me a minute. I don't know why. But they all have their right for them, which means they're grounded. Their logic is grounded in spirituality and it's overflowing, meaning now what they believe, everything you've been, everything they've been going through, everything they've been learning, now their logic is grounded on it and their light and it's overflowing into their life. Their life is changing. And as you see, it also looks like while they're raising their hands and receiving and accepting this, they're dancing, they're praising at the same time. And also you see the brown on the earth. That's where you get the grounding because brown is a very grounding color as well as green. Um, it's a very grounded color because they're both colors of the earth. You see the the red flowers here. You see the fruits, all represented all represents in manifestation coming in. So as an indicator card, this is very good. This means over the weekend. Um, it's, oh shoot, the full moon. Yeah, as the full moon should be. Ah, totally forgot. I believe the full moon is actually tonight. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I forgot what time. I believe the full moon may actually be like tonight as in like early tomorrow morning. I think. I gotta look it up again. I forgot. I'm totally slipping on that. My fault. I normally have the information ready. Like I said, I've been doing dark work on myself. Totally missed the ball on that one. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's a very excellent card. So now we're gonna go into the reading, which you can't see because I already pulled the cards, but I'm gonna turn them over now. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I got, uh, what's his name? Stevie Wonder in my head. Anyway, this card is Renewal. As you see, um, if you pay attention, it has that spiral effect, also known as the Fibonacci spiral, uh, which starts here, which is the zero point creation, and which means, again, it goes with the other card, you're getting a big renewal, big renewal. And you see the shades of black representing spirituality, the darkness, the divine feminine, out of the dark comes the light. Um, out, of, out of what you believe what you believe to be morally right your spirituality creates the world around you creates your logic, creates your actions, creates your habits which manifests things around you other than that you also have the next two chakras which is the red chakra which is why I said you know, the, your moral beliefs um, is what creates situations around you so in the red is connected to your root chakra which is connected to your hardcore moral beliefs so this is renewing all that also, you have hints of, can you see, you have hints of orange. Orange is the uh, sacral chakra, which is the creative chakra. It's the one that creates, um, <clears throat> that gives life and newness. But then you also have shades of yellow in it. And, well, it's very, actually, no, and the camera looks like yellow. You know what, there's no yellow in this card. Huh. And the camera looks like yellow, but actually, there you go, that's better. Actually, it's all orange, red, and black which is cool because this is renewal, it's creating. And yellow is more so of an action of what you need to do. And this is not saying do yet. It's just saying now it's time for enjoy the creation, enjoy enjoy what's being renewed. And with Mercury retrograde about to come to a strong suit, is basically as you get it renewed, remember to let go. Because as you see, as it's growing out to this bigger spiral, there's no room for you to hold on to anything else. Otherwise, it'll mess up the beautiful pattern that you're trying to create. Okay, this next card is upside down. This card is the connections card. And basically what this card is saying that, um, you know, it's saying that the connections that you had to your ancestors and everything has halted for a bit. As them coming to visit you uh, face to face to talk to you. And this is not a bad thing. The reason why is because of the next card. And this card represents the third eye. As you see, they got the X, X marks the spot. They have the beautiful um, heart chakra, which is open. Um, the little green line, they also have a yellow line, which is um, the solar chakra, which is, you know, open up that where where was the energy is created in the sacral chakra is harnessed and put to use in the solar chakra. And then they don't have blues, but they have shades of purple. Shades of purple. There you go. Everything is purple, 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 purple. And the purple is the... Um, Depending on how you believe it, it's the third eye slash crown chakra. There's like two different ones, indigo, one's purple. It's all purple to me. But anyway, um, 
being in, this is your third eye is open. So no longer are they coming to you where you have to do rituals and this, this, and that, which you still should do rituals and honor them. But now they're coming to you in your third eye, meaning they're there all the time and you recognize it. Meaning they're there giving you information as you open your eyes and you see in the world in a different way because now you have been renewed. So now you have to be renewed. You don't have to seek out that connection anymore to try to get to it because it's there. It's attained in your third eye. And now it's stuck there and it's... Um, going to stay there for a while you know there's no more having to just keep wondering and question am i connected am i connected am i connected the third eye is now opening you've been doing your work and your um hopefully you've been doing your work and now you, if you've been doing your work your your connection to the spiritual realm is connected to your third eye and now you're really going to see things in a whole new light and as this card will say your, your cup will run us over and everything you see now will start to spill into the manifesto realm of which you decide to create so this video got longer than i wanted to as all my videos do <laughs> but this is your week of reading um weekend reading what, what is that weekend reading uh, uh so everybody have a blessed beautiful weekend have a blessed beautiful full moon uh have i think i'll see you before summer hopefully i'll get to make some other videos where you can actually see my face you can see my arm though see the arm yeah. ah i'm here i'm here <laughs> anyway everybody stay blessed peace